So, I was in Blackpool a few weeks ago and came across a, a blue plaque. If you don't know, a blue plaque is usually put on a building to denote a link between some notable person and a building, i.e. Winston Churchill lived here between these dates, or William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in this building in whatever year. Anyway, this blue plaque was set up to commemorate when Alan Bradley met his death under a Blackpool tram. Now, if you don't much, if you don't know much about Alan Bradley, you might think this was a tragic accident, some awful, awful incident. But Alan Bradley was an awful person. He was a real villain until he died on the eighth of December, nineteen eighty-nine. Is it bizarre that a blue plaque would be used to recognise the place where he was killed? The reason it's so publicly pointed out was that Alan Bradley's death was watched by just short of 27 million people. As it was a part of a storyline on a British soap opera, Coronation Street, and he was a character played by Mark Eden. Alan Bradley first arrived on the cobbles, as Coron Coronation Street is often known, in 1986, and quickly proved himself to be a real soap opera baddie. He fell in love with Rita Knox, another show regular, and had an affair and tried to assault another character. When Rita finds this out, he tries to kill her, and Bradley's arrested. When he's released, his subsequent actions cause Rita to have a breakdown, and she escapes from the street in Manchester to Blackpool. Alan finds out and chases her down to Blackpool, and after a chase, he, is, he runs in front of a tramp and he's killed. Tragically, Alan Bradley's death is not even the only one caused by tram within Coronation Street. Uh, the show has been going 60 odd years now, uh, and as part of the 50th anniversary of the show back in 2010, a gas explosion caused a tram to crash into the street, killing three characters, Ashley Peacock, Molly Dobbs, and a taxi driver. The taxi that was used to kill uh, Alan Bradley in the show is now on display in uh, a museum in Blackpool. So, there's the story of why a fictional character has a blue plaque in Blackpool. You did enjoy this, please leave a like. Hope you'll have an amazing day, and check out previous videos on screen now. I'll talk to you all next time.